Hi everyone, today I'll be discussing with you the structure of hair. So before that, a general introduction of what hair is. So hair is nothing but a human fiber that is present on the surface of our body. Now, not all the surfaces are covered with skin. There are certain portions that are known as glabrous skin portions that are devoid of hair. There are no hairs present on these regions. Now, example can include lips, the palmar surfaces like these surfaces of both hands as well as toes. Then the portions that have scars, navel, etc. Now rest of our body is covered with hair, thick terminal hair it can be or it can be fine hairs which are known as the velous hair. The tiny tiny hair that we have on our body on certain areas are known as velous hair and we might have thick terminal hairs as well. So these are the two types of uh, hair that we have on our body surfaces. Now talking about the two main portions of our skin. Basically uh, this is our skin considering skin as you know is compared of many layers. There is epidermis and the lower one, the upper one is epidermis and the lower one is dermis. Now uh, our hair consists of considering this to be our skin then we know that our skin consists of epidermis layer which is the upper one and we have dermis layer the lower one so uh, the hair portion is present some of it is uh, is embedded underneath our skin and rest of the portion is outside the area so the portion that is underneath is present in the dermis region and is known as follicle. It is also referred to as bulb sometimes and the upper portion that we can see through our eyes is known as the shaft. Now follicle is the living portion, the living region of the hair while shaft is dead. So it is follicle because of which our hairs are our hairs grow. Now this is so because it is present in the dermis region of the skin and dermis region has stem cells that allow the growth of new cells once the life of older follicle is complete. A new follicle comes and takes its place. Now I'll be talking about the three main layers of the hair. Our hair consists of first cuticle, next cortex and last but not the least medulla. These are the three main layers of our skin. Let me just draw a small diagram over here to make you understand in a better way. So this is a rough diagram of the structure. So this outermost layer that you can see this is the cuticle and these are the scales so if we talk about cuticle this is the outermost part and it contains scale on its surface now these scales can tell about what kind of species of hair uh, species of animal it is whose hair we have got on the kinds you know whatever now uh, these are the not these are because these are irregular in nature they can have different shapes so uh, they can be you know um, dog bone shaped or they can be uh, donut shape so uh, these are irregular in pattern for example they can be spatula shaped they are spatula shaped in rodents rats um, so on the basis of that we can determine what kind of animal hair it is whether it is human hair or not next comes cortex cortex this is it is the middle portion as we can see it contains um, uh, the pigmented things cortex is the middle not middle we can say middle would be medulla we can say in between portion in between area 
इट कंटेन्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इट कंटेन्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट हेयर प्रोटीन नोन एज कैरेटिन इट इज अयर प्रोटीन नाउ लेट मी जस्ट रब दिस लेट मी जस्ट ड्रॉ हाउ द अबाउट अ बिट स्ट्रक्चर अबाउट कैराटीन इट इज प्रेजेंट इन बंडल्स दिस इज अ प्रोटीन स्ट्रैंड देन वी हैव इन द बंडल काइंड ऑफ थिंग इनक्लोजिंग इट विच इज नोन एज प्रोटोफाइब्रिल देन इन द विच इज नोन एज माइक्रो फाइब्रिल देन इन द नोन एज मैक्रो फाइब्रिल सो it has keratin bundles that are present in the cell structure which are rod like as you can see the shape it is rod like these are highly structured and organized layers and they are primary source of strength as well and also they responsible for water uptake another important thing present in cortex is melanin is the hair pigment due to which we get different shades of colors of hair like we have blonde we have pure black we have brown so this is nothing but due to different concentrations of this melanin pigment because if there are, there is more amount of melanin present in uh, the hair then they are going to be black hair if less then brown then if even more less than blonde so uh, it basically provides the color all right then uh, one thing left is medulla as i drew the stru- structure earlier must have seen something of this kind so this is medulla which is the middle portion of the hair and it is irregular in nature it is tubular as you can see tubular and it runs in the center as i have told it is it can be thick thin con- discontinuous discontinuity as you can see here thick thin discontinuous it can be fragmented or solid or continuous or interrupted or even absent in certain cases all right now i'm just going to draw a bit as i've shown you guys earlier this is the bulb portion overall this is the follicle shaft other than this we have certain glandular portions also here which are known as sebaceous glands and sebaceous glands are nothing but the oil glands they lubricates the hair we also have erector pili muscle this pili muscle uh, gives you know you get goosebumps because of which your hair stands up so they uh, are responsible for producing goosebumps on our body on the basis of follicles also we can uh, decide what kind of hair it is going to be whether it is going to be straight or not like if the follicle is round in shape then the hair that we are going to have will be straight if it is oval or some other irregular shape then it will be uh, curvy slash wavy in nature now the melanin pigment that i told you about that the pigment types of pigment are also two like uh, it is divided into eumelanin and pheomelanin eumelanin is the dominant one while this one is found in few people and it is responsible for giving red color pigment to the hair and this was asked in ugc net exam 2019 this december exam this question few few the color that few melanin gives now we get uh, different ki- uh, kinds of colors in the hair like we have blonde hair color so this is found when there is very little pigment either of the melanin pigment if it is very little in nature then we get this color in cortex of course because 
as I told, melanin is present in the cortex. Then comes gray color is when the melanin production stops. As we grow old, our, uh, our hair starts to, you know, become gray. The reason is that our body stops the production of melanin due to which the black color is no more and we get to see gray, uh, gray color here. Then there is a condition known as foliosis. This is typically spotted area which never possessed melanin in the first place itself. So no melanin from right from the start itself. So this was all that I think is required to be you know known about hair. In the next video, I'm going to talk about different types of hair and how can we differentiate between human and animal hair. So if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and like the video and do share it with your friends. Thank you.